an incredibly significant time in history where the general public may enter and genuinely witness a shift in their life dot completely transformed in a potent way at this point, so naturally, this is the bone I have to pick. With regard to Bitcoin and this and that, let's be honest, the white paper for Bitcoin had to be released in reaction to the events of 2008 and 2009 in which the markets were being, to put it mildly, manipulated and disregarded. If you've ever watched The Big Short, you may have the impression that, well, Judy, we lived through it, and I'm telling you when we got you know, in 2008 and 2009, we invested what we had in a house and other things came around, and boy, I'll tell you, we were crushed, crushed, crushed. Our property wasn't foreclosed upon, but we were renting it out because we had to move to a new province for work and other reasons, so we were literally underwater, owing more on the property than it was worth. At the time, we were relieved that someone else had taken over the mortgage, but naturally, all the equity we had in that place was gone, and many other people were completely devastated. At that point, the white paper for Bitcoin appears, and it was created with the intention of giving people like you and me a safe place to kind of get into things. At least that was the intention. At the time, I was working in the underground economy, so my bias against it stemmed from the people who were using it the most. Additionally, back then, as you are aware, Bitcoin was almost synonymous with a lot of, you know, kind of not so great stuff and stuff like that. Hey, it's just for the tax, you think, the drug dealers and all the outlaws, and so I decided not to be involved. However, now that you have this situation with these Bitcoin ETFs, the very individuals they claimed were out there dot attempting to emerge from beneath their boots, they simply climbed under the blankets, though I think this is just a dog and pony show, but it goes without saying that I personally believe this digital asset absolutely represents probably the greatest opportunity for average people to see life-changing results. With them, didn't they with the Bitcoin? ETF and things like that. When Judy and I first entered, as previously mentioned, we knew very little about it and weren't intending to invest in it. Instead, we wanted to preserve the purchasing power of our funds. Since we were unable to obtain any actual gold or silver, what did we buy? Our first purchase was Bitcoin, but let me tell you something. We didn't really know what this industry was about until we started to think about it. We got out of Bitcoin because, goodness, some of these other technologies, especially XRP, are going to revolutionize the entire globe. Investing everything in these alternative coins within a year, wow, that would have significantly improved the situation, and, gentlemen, I offer it to give you a perspective so that, as an average person investing in this sector, you do believe that there is a real world. Don't post that to brag about. Look at us instead. Judy and I felt that we contributed so little in comparison, and there was a chance for you to realize how little you did. You know how Jesus, you know, doubled the loaves and fish. I thought, well, Lord, recall that period of time when you were simply loafers and fishermen. What little we have in here is yours to take. It can grow into something significant. And boy, did he. And let me tell you, I really think that's what this base represents. A chance for regular people to witness life-altering events, and I really think that this area will ultimately represent the largest wealth transfer in human history when we get further down the line, completely, and the explanation for my belief. Naturally. That's a result of the infrastructure that is being constructed and the things that I was reading. Today, we're discussing the complete collapse of the existing economic system and how it is. IT is literally in its own winter on its last day. And you understand the situation. We are all set to just modify what we already have. To embark on a new endeavor since the globe is in a certain the financial system is at a critical juncture. When it is nearly ready to collapse, I was watching blockchain backer. When he said, look at if you look at the hundred year to and where we are in history and the things that are just kind of lining up like they did back in the 1930s and things like that. There are a lot of individuals out there at any given time. What follows will likely be among the worst crashes the world has ever witnessed, and it will be remembered as the complete story of the phoenix rising from the ashes. That means that something has to burn down for there to be an ash heap. Isn't that right? That's what I really think, guys. IT is certain to occur. It's going to burn down, so we're going to watch, and in a major way, and they are aware of it, which is why they are up there constructing all of these lifeboats, isn't it? 
They are installing the infrastructure for that reason. Collectively, how they are altering how Point One computes the interest rate every day with Lior and everything else, as well as the ISO message requirements for our financial institutions. That explains the existence of the central bank. At a breakneck pace, digital currencies are being developed, and the IMF to finish this, the Bank of International Settlements, the International Monetary Fund, and all the other central banks in the world are scrambling like rats on a sinking ship since they are aware of their limited time. Let's be honest with one another, most of us, thank the Lord, even if you are totally unaware of it, you know what's about to happen, because of that awareness. You and I have an opportunity that most people will look back on and be utterly shocked at how they completely missed the chance to literally step outside of that system and take part in one of the biggest changes. And they are these people who are piecing everything together refer to it as the fourth industrial revolution since they are aware of what is about to happen at the pike and it will provide us with the opportunity to really sit down at that table. I genuinely think so, which is why I can be so happy and excited about it because I'm not thinking about the rinky-dink tiny day prices and such. Rather, I'm thinking about the fundamental implementation and shift that this represents on a global scale in the long or UN.AT a historical level, which is why you know to tie that in with visiting Washington and taking in all those monuments and such that honor historical events that changed the course of human history. I'm not kidding when I say that this area will have memorials, and we will see them someplace, should Jesus Terry say that this will go down in history as one of the biggest shifts in the evolution of our society, you know, societies worldwide? I genuinely think so because it will have such a profound effect, and everything will genuinely alter as a result, not only our digital IDs, our banking system, how our schooling is tracked, what we possess, and this and that but also how society functions as a whole, consider social media and how it has essentially crossed international boundaries, altered how society even operates, and affected what we do today. It has also affected how you communicate with friends and family who live all over the world and how you obtain information that you know practically reside thousands of miles, if not continents, apart. Yet they can link in that way. Interacting with one another across all these social media platforms, which were revolutionary in and of themselves. I firmly believe that what is forthcoming will simply astound individuals. It is certain to be truly remarkable, so I sincerely appreciate your participation, that Judy and I are a part of it, and I can't wait for the moment when we actually cross the finish line and everyone around us says, and on and on and on and on. Did you know? We were only paying attention, so we'll be able to tell them they knew that we were aware. How come you told me not to? Whether you believe it or not, that is what we will be, I told you a thousand times.